Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? 28 year old man, emergency room with severe pain and limited movement of his left shoulder after falling on an outstretched hand during a basketball game. His left arm is held in slight abduction and external rotation. There is obvious fullness of the anterior shoulder region, unable to move his left arm without pain. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Okay, left shoulder falling on an outstretched hand. Left arm is held in slight abduction and external rotation. There's obvious fullness in the anterior shoulder region. Um, Okay, the like the fullness and the way he's holding his arm makes me wonder if it's um like an anterior dislocation of the humerus. Final answer. Uh, yeah. Great, worked through that beautifully, right? So, um, clavicular right is usually swelling over the clavicle, and then usually kind of the um hold the affected arm close to the body because you know obviously it's going to hurt. Posterior is less common than anterior, right? Usually a direct blow to the, you know, um, to the front of the shoulder, which then will pop it out to the back, right? And um, rotator cuff tear, right? Usually chronic trauma or chronic degeneration, right? So pain, weakness, limited range of motion, especially with, you know, raising your um, arms above your shoulder, right? Um, so a lot of rotator cuff tears can be from sports and things like that. So something to think about. Scapula fracture, this is really freaking rare, right? You need very high energy trauma, um, like an MVC or, you know, falling from a building or something like that. Because remember, your scapula is in your, you know, like it's, it's very deep in your body, right? And so um, you have muscles on, you know, you have thick muscles on your back, right? Thick muscles in the front of your body. So your pecs and your neck muscles, right? And then in the back, it's, you know, your trapezius, your, your lats, your um, uh, scap muscles, right? Scapular muscles, right? And so all that should protect impact of fracturing. So um, very rare to have this. If you do have it, then, you know, you, you went through something really, really bad to have a scapula fracture. So unlikely. So best answer here is definitely anterior dislocation of the humerus.